Hi, this is Cindy and I'm going to talk about how to create a light fixture in Revit. A um, light fixture in Revit is a family just like all the other components and I'm going to talk about how to create a light fixture that would have a multitude of light sources like a chandelier as well as just how to create a simple lamp. Um, so under the families if you select new in order to create a lamp I'm just going to select um, the light fixture family. Um, there's also linear light fixture ceiling based so that means that that light fixture is going to attach itself to the ceiling. You'd want to use that if you were creating some kind of recessed light fixture um, or pendant that you wanted to, to attach itself to the ceiling when you inserted it. Um, it's going to be dependent then. You're only going to be able to put it into a project if you have a family, uh, if you have a ceiling just like a window needs to go into a wall. Um, so I'm just going to select the lighting fixture uh, generic here and you can see this yellow um, circle uh, when I hover over it turns blue it's difficult to see um, but it's there and that is your lighting source um, and when you select the light source you're able to make some changes to it so you can change the directionality um, down here on the bottom as far as what direction that that light is going and you can also change the shape if you was making more of a linear light fixture um, or a flat light fixture I could um, change that lighting source definition here. Um, so I'm just going to look at that from the front and I've created a, a lamp um, in another project that I'm just going to um, load into this project and just to save some time from the actual creation of the lamp. So here's my lamp. It's just been created um, with a series of revolves and I have the base here and um, some brass uh, pieces and the portion of it here is glass. The lampshade is a fabric lampshade. The most important thing that you want to keep in mind is what you put around the light bulb is going to control where the light um, is going. In this case the material that I have on the lampshade is um, translucent. So under the transparency I have that translucency turned up pretty high so that the light is able to come out of the light fixture um, shade. Um, but the the transparency is low because it's it's not clear. Um, this allows for the light to come out of the shade if it was a fabric shade. Now if it was a metallic shade or something like that of course you would not have any translucency and that light would just come up and down out of the shade um, like it would normally. So I'm just going to take this lamp and I'm going to load it um, into my light fixture project that I'm working on. I'm just going to place that in the middle and I'm going to look at it from the front again. You can see that my light source is above my lamp. I want to put it in my lamp. And so I'm just going to grab it right in this middle square here and I'm going to move it down. And it's going to tell me that the constraints aren't satisfied. I'm just going to say remove constraints. And I also want to make sure that that my middle of my light source is not, you know, directly on this. I have kind of a uh, the copper uh, post running through the lamp there. I want to make sure that that isn't in the middle of that solid copper poster. It won't let any light out. It'll usually give you a warning about that um, in the bottom right hand corner here that you've placed your light source inside of something solid and that the light will not be able to get out. Um, it will do that if you place it inside of something solid even if you've turned on the tr or turned on the translucency. So you just want to be aware of that. Now you see that my light source goes outside of my lampshade. Um, it's not going to appear this way in my project. Um, it's only going to emit light like normal um, when you render. Um, when you place it in the project, the only thing that's going to show up are these solid items here, the um, lamp itself. And so I'm just going to go ahead and save that as a family. And then I'm able to load this into the project um, and utilize it as a light fixture. Now if I wanted to create something that had a multitude um, of, of light sources on it, like um, this fixture right here, I need to first be able to save a light bulb. And so in order to do that, what I do is I open, I go to New Family and go to Light Fixture just like we did before. and you can see my light source is there. And what I do is I just do a save as 
and I save this as a family and I would label it as a, I like to call it a light bulb because that's essentially um, what, what I'm creating. So I save this as a light bulb in here and then when I'm creating any kind of a light fixture that has a multitude of arms like this one, I'm able to load that family, um, that light bulb family into this project and I'm able to place it. So it would be located under my components here and you can see this has a multitude of things as I've created some of these pieces separately um, but most importantly the light bulb is there and I'm able to select that from my components um, and if I'm looking at that from the top I'm able to place additional light sources as many as I would like depending on where I would like those in the project. Of course you would need to place them looking from the top and then you need to go and look at them from the front and be able to move them into place. Thanks.